Today, we're gonna show you how to build a turbo manifold. The first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna build our collector. Um, we got some nice schedule cast stainless pieces from our boys over at Treadstone. Some nice little weldells. That'll be our, uh, our manifold tubing. Um, three rotor 20B using some nice extra big ass stuff as always, two inch, two inch pipe tubing. So here she is, nothing fancy. That'll just bolt right onto there. That'll give me something to hold this and the turbo up to. Um, so we'll get to that. Diving back in, you can see I started positioning our fixture. You can see I was able to use that bar to a vise and I got it on a jack. That way I have my turbo position right where I want it. That's a really nice spot for it. This sucker is big, extra big ass, just like Phil likes it. Yeah, you can see, you know, sometimes you gotta get creative. Run some bars to locate our bottom of the V-band there. Connect that, take it apart, do it all over. We have our basically fixture for a fixture. This back plate is simulating the engine block. And what I did here is I took another V band and it's the tile exhaust housing. That's what this is. So I took another one and I went over to my main man, Sandy, the machinist, and he went ahead and machined me the lip to simulate the turbo side. So now what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be, this is gonna simulate the turbo and then I'm gonna make a fixture that's actually gonna locate basically the same thing I did here but on the outside. That way I can cut all this back off and I'll have my two points that I'm gonna need to create my turbo manifold. The fixture is complete, nothing fancy here. This is our mock-up hot side flange. Didn't want to get too crazy with it, just something to keep it nice and sturdy, nice and tight. I took these and I ended up making, now we're, now we're building a, a Mazda rotary, three rotor, 20B, so it's three rotors, and we're making a three to one collector. Here's my little template. So I needed the end to be a certain diameter. You can see we got our first cut. Now this is where it gets tricky. Each one of these marks is five degrees. The tube is 360 degrees. We're going to have a three-way collector. So that gives us 120. We're gonna need to have that piece cut into two cuts. So that gives us 60 degrees. Now when you're doing different collectors, probably a four or a six or an eight, you're gonna have different different numbers, so remember that. And we're gonna make our marks. So we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. And we're gonna make our second cut. And voila, in raw form, you have one, a three merch collector. We'll go ahead and clean off all the sides, make it nice and flat. And one down, two more to go.
what's going on. Give you a little update. We are at a Baja update. No Baja here, not yet. Got the collector tacked on, positioned. Got some pieces fabbed up on the, out of the collector going into the inlet of the turbo. Mocked up, fabbed up, welded up a bunch of our runners. We made these all equal length. This is beneficial for equal pulses of the engine going into the turbo. We're actually doing this pipeline style. We're gonna do three passes. We're gonna do our root pass, our fill, and then our cap. Just a nice uh, first pass, super hot, lots of penetration just to get it, just to get the nice root in there. We're gonna go over it with a fill, just to fill, fill it up a little bit, and then we'll go with a nice pretty cap to finalize it. That hot past, I got this mostly hot past. Uh, I didn't want it to move too much around. This is kind of an easier piece to, 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 to fab up. This one a little bit more intricate, a lot of little pieces. Probably do the same on this one. I'll weld as much as I can on the fixture so that way nothing moves around. Then I have a little bit tacked on the collector. I will weld each piece individually 100% and then I will weld up the collector inside. We're gonna get inside this crevices here and we're gonna weld the outside and we're gonna blend it all smooth. So that way you have a nice, this is the whole point of the collector is have all those runners come into a nice, perfectly straight, smooth exit going right into the turbo, right into your power maker. All right, back to work. So we have all our runners welded up. We got all our passes done. We got our final pass, our root pass, our fill, and our cap. All done up, super nice. So now we're gonna fabricate. We're gonna get back on a fabrication. We're gonna get all these runners lined up, back lined up, and we're gonna weld up the collector. And then we'll finish off into the flange and get that turbo mounted up.
we finished up welding the runners to the to the flange we welded up the collector we did a hot pass on the runners to the flange we're going to do a second pass over that uh, we also welded up the insides as well and smoothed those out so that way it's a nice straight smooth airflow going through there and then we went ahead and we did first pass on the outside of the collector uh, and then i had to get really funky if you paid attention and got all up inside the back of that area here to give it that extra security and then we welded up the inside of the collector we're going to go ahead and smooth that out to give it that nice point yeah after we smooth that out we'll do a final pass on the outside of the collector and then outside on the flange as well and then we'll start working out of the collector into the turbo flange so Side of our collector all smoothed out. We went ahead and smoothed out the ports. We got that welded, filled, and smoothed out. Same thing in here, and that's the kind of the whole point of the collector. You want these points to come all together into one nice little junction. So we'll get this girl on our jig. We'll start building our pieces up to our turbo manifold. We got our final pass done on the collector. We did the final pass up on the flange. Got the pie cuts, how to make some custom pie cuts to get our manifold to jog over up to our turbo flange. Phil likes to run that extra big ass turbo. So got our pie cuts all tacked up. We'll go Throw it on the car, see how it fits, see how everything looks. Let's check this out. was a 90 I cut it to try to make some uh, those two 45s I put together to make a 90 and then I notched it with a hole saw using a nice uh, notcher and a hole saw and that's gonna be our more or less that's gonna be our wastegate Complete equal length runners. 
how to get funky with some with some pie cuts to get a nice tight angle. Got our custom collector made, welded inside and out, fully blended. You can see the wastegate, nice, nice and smooth. Wastegate dump, turbo, all our goodies. Just thought I'd put it all together for you, just show you how large, big, dumb, and unnecessary this is, all this is. Got a giant wastegate, electric, electric wastegate from Turbo Smart. Got the extra big ass turbo from Garrett. Got our vibrant Vanjin clamp welded on, welded inside and out. Got the turbo manifold, equal length. Going into our tile housing. Everything's welded inside and out, blended. Extra badass.